I'll just explain what's going to happen this evening and then um, after I've introduced myself, I'll let the staff who are on, on here as well introduce them. And then from there, I'll quickly go through the PowerPoint because today your son or daughter has had an assembly which we've just finished at three o'clock. And the PowerPoint that I've got is just a bit of a condensed version, okay? So I'm Sandra and I'm the School Liaison and Events Officer and I cover both campuses. Um, you might not be aware, but Furness College is now, uh, in, now incorporates Barrow Sixth Form. So we're all one college. So I'll hand over to the staff who are on board and they can introduce themselves one by one. Uh, I'll start then, shall I? Sorry, I yeah, can't see which fine. format's in, but um, <laughs> hel hello everybody. I'm, I'm Sarah Carter. I'm Student Services Manager and Careers Leader for um, all the college campuses and uh, welcome you this evening to this event. Thank you. Hello, I'm Nicola Newton. I'm a tutor in Early Years in Education over at um, our Channel Side campus. I think we've got Rachel there somewhere. Uh, she's having problems with her microphone at the moment. Okay. Is Isabella there? I am. Hi, I'm Isabella Braithwaite and I'm the head of area for um, Hair and Beauty, Hospitality and Catering, Sport and Public Services. Perfect. I can't see if we've got anyone else because I'm sharing my screen currently. Is that, is that every staff member we've got at the moment? Hi, I'm Claire McClay. Oh, hi Claire. Uh, hi, yes. I'm based at Channel Side. I am catering and hospitality lecturer um, and we're currently running a level one and a level two course this year in, in those subjects. Perfect. Is there anyone else? No, that's all staff. Perfect. Right, so basically, um, welcome to this uh, presentation this evening. This is as college goes live and unfortunately this is in place um, at the moment of our open evening that we would normally be offering later on this month at both of the campuses. So the, um, the plan of the event is to make sure that you and your son or daughter have the right information moving forward about what, what we actually offer at the campuses and what what might be sort of relevant to them so they've had their assembly today we haven't done a live lunchtime um student question and answer session because we didn't start the assemblies until half past one but what this should help you find out about is the choice of courses um what college life is like and what it can lead on to um as in uh, careers and next steps okay so um this is again, the college goes live. Um, I'm, I'm leading the event this evening just from a school liaison point of view. Um, Sarah Carter introduced herself and Kane Fleming will soon be joining us. He's our digital marketing apprentice, but currently is undertaking a marketing event uh, this evening with our honours students over at the sixth form. We've also got all of the staff who just introduced themselves and they're here to answer questions about anything that you want to ask after we've done this presentation so that's just to let you know that we are the beating heart of education in our community so why would you choose Furness College so we are the largest provider of education skills and training in Cum Cumbria and we're currently based on two campuses we have the Channel Side campus which is down by Hollywood Park we also have Rating Lane, um, the Sixth Form campus, which is over by St Bernard's. And we also have um, a small facility called Core, which works out of um, College House on Duke Street. So that's a, a, third, a third sort of arm of college. So um, in 2019, we were rated good by Ofsted with, ex, uh, with the inspectors praising the quality of provision. And we currently have the biggest choice of courses in Cumbria. So ranging from apprenticeships and A-levels right through to BTECs, CTECs, two degrees and from September 2021 we'll be offering a selection of T-levels. OK, so Channel Side Campus. This is the campus where you would study um, vocational and technical qualifications and over at that campus we offer apprenticeships as well. 
um, and higher education and the campus is a 47 million pound build so it's state of the art over there so we have lots and lots of different facilities that the students can access as part of their um, training and their education so we also offer skills training and apprenticeship training to a large number of employers in the area and the biggest would be BAE systems so we offer all of their um, apprenticeship training and their degree students also study with us um, so we focus on providing high quality education and skills training for both young people and for adults. So we don't just work with the young people leaving school. We have an age range spanning probably from 14 because we do take uh, young people who are in school. Uh, they study um, one course, which is an option that they've been able to do from year 10. And we go right through to adults. Some of them are up into their 60s and 70s who are studying maybe um, a degree with us or some adult education. Um, we've got state-of-the-art facilities, like I said. We have um, amazing sports facilities. We have a fantastic hair salon, beauty salon. We have a restaurant on campus. We've got a state-of-the-art gym and sports hall. And we have motor vehicle workshops, engineering workshops, and lots of construction workshops and lots of other amazing mm -hmm. facilities. So people ask us what's the difference between the two campuses. So if you were to study down at Channel Side, you would just pick one of these options. So some of these options will look maybe quite uh, familiar to your son or daughter because they may have studied IT or they may be doing something like business um, as part of the uh, GCSEs. However, some of the subjects on here will look really new. So things like hair and media makeup or sport or catering and hospitality. Um, so you would just choose one of these and then on top of that, we would add things to your uh, programme of study. So, for instance, we may need to add maths and English, and I'll explain why a bit later on. So, Barra 6 form, it's a smaller campus. It has around 500 students and class sizes average between 16 to 18 students. So the class sizes are a, are a nice size. Um, over there, we offer A-levels, B-techs, T levels and you can reset the your three main GCSEs so you can do maths, English and science. So the tutors over there are specialists at post 16 teaching and treat students as an individual and research has shown students who join a sixth form college are better prepared for the next move to university. So it's a really good uh, uh, learning environment. It's a proven path to university and higher apprenticeships and we have a wider choice of courses than a school six farm. Um, also, like the main thing to know is that we had a 100% pass rate and 50%, 57% of that were A star to B grades in 2020, which is a, a really good uh, figure. So if you were to study at Rating Lane, you would normally pick three of these subjects. So again, some of them are quite uh, familiar subjects as your sciences and your IT and things like that. But then there's some new choices in there. So politics, psychology, things like that, they're all new. And, and you would mix three of these uh, together as, as a program of study. If your son or daughter um, is a high flying student, then they may have been made known to us in year 10 and they may be an honours student who have gone through the honours programme in year 10 and 11. And that would open up to them the opportunity to possibly do a fourth subject or an extended project qualification. And that's to sort of grow and challenge them. So that's another option. So you may have heard me talk about T levels. Now these are brand new. Um, for the, the they were brought in in September of this year, but we're not starting ours until September of 2021, which will be when your son or daughter leaves school. So if you think about an apprenticeship where you do 80% in the workplace and 20% in the classroom, T levels are actually uh, uh, the reverse. So you do 20%. Um, actually in the workplace and 80% in the classroom. So um, 
what's the difference? It's the industry placement that's actually built into this qualification. Um, so your son or daughter will do 45 days out in the industry working in a business and there's an opportunity that from doing that they may even be offered um, employment after they've finished their T, T level which lasts for two years. Um, it's a new qualification and it's equivalent to three A levels and it's for your higher flying possibly students who are going to get um, five GCSE grades at grade nine to four and three of those that's English and in some of the subjects they need to be a science as well that needs to be above a grade five. So there it's broken down a bit more. They are technical qualifications that have been designed by businesses and employers and we're going to be uh, delivering these from September 2021. So we're going to be doing a T-level in health and that's going to be run from our channel side campus and that's going, going to be for anybody who maybe wants to become a midwife, go into nursing or work in one of the healthcare uh, sectors out there. The second is a T-level in science and that's going to be run at, from our sixth form campus and that's going to be around um, lab sciences. So if you've got somebody who's a really keen site scientist, then this might be for them. Um, the third one is a T-level in education and childcare and this is going to be for people who maybe want to either go into primary teaching or possibly go into being a teaching assistant or something like that. And finally, the other one is a T-level in digital and I believe that this will be run from our channel side campus. So it's sort of um, a new qualification. I mean, a lot a lot of people have un understand it to be computing, but this is more as we've found ourselves um, being under the circumstances we're at the moment, we're all doing things like this, events online, and this is going to um, sort of grow skills uh, for people who have an interest in that in that area.